The Micron Project 1.44-1.42 was a technology demonstrator developed by the Micron Design Bureau. It was the Soviet Union's answer to the U.S.'s advanced tactical fighter, incorporating many fifth-generation fighter aspects such as advanced avionics, stealth, supermaneuverability, and supercruise. The design Euro unregistered trademark S development was a protracted one, characterized by repeated and lengthy postponements due to a chronic lack of funds. The MiG 1.44 made its maiden flight in February 2000, nine years behind schedule. The current status of the 1.44 is unknown. Development Preliminary design The MiG 1.44 had its origins in the early 1980s when the U.S. Air Force began developing an advanced fighter under the Advanced Tactical Fighter Project, which would ultimately materialize in the form of a supermaneuverable and stealthy, albeit costly, Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. Consequently, the Soviet government tasked its Fighter Design Bureau the job of developing a fighter with which to counter the American threat, and replace the Sukhoi Su-27. Mike busied itself with two concurrent projects, one of which focused on a heavy multi-role design designated MFI, the other a light tactical fighter named LFI. To minimize costs, both designs were to share as many components as possible. However, as the research and development phase for the two projects progressed, costs escalated due to the complexity normally associated with advanced aircraft projects. As a result, the Soviet government created the Combined Task Program in 1983 with the aim of maximizing efficiency and developing technologies to be used for all classes of aircraft. Mikwain became the primary contractor for the program, the importance of which was illustrated with its inclusion into the Soviet five-year economic plan. The Design Bureau soon formulated initial specifications for the new fighters. Mikwain proceeded with the preliminary design of both the MF and LFI with participation from numerous institutions, which assisted in the progressive definition of the designs. TSAGI was responsible for collecting wind tunnel test results, which, along with theoretical studies, were vital during this phase of development. The institution recommended that Mikwain include canards for the MFI, since it offers great agility and lift the latter important as the MFI was a statistically unstable design. The Delta Wings then had a wing leading edge sweep of 40 a Euro 45 a degree. During this period, engineers undertook unprecedented wind tunnel testing to refine the MFI's aerodynamics and verify its radar cross-section. The MFI would have a variable engine intake located under the front fuselage, reminiscent of the Eurofighter Typhoon. This was particularly important with the nature of the aircraft, since it allows for sustained air flow into the engine during sudden maneuvers. As for the engine themselves, research was conducted on thrust vectoring, allowing for markedly improved maneuverability and short takeoff and landing performance. Besides the mechanical and aerodynamic aspects of the design, engineers investigated hundreds of issues to refine the layout and specifications. In 1987, Mikwain and the associated institutions submitted the MF and LFI proposals for review. Full-scale development, while both MF and LFI designs passed critical review, due to budgetary constraints, Mikwain shelved the latter to free up funds for the development of the MFI, which had by then been redesignated as Delay 1.42. Under the leadership and coordination of Chief Project Engineer Georg Iacidov, Mikwain embarked on major design effort. Because the LFI was shelved, 1.42 had by then assumed the multi-role approach, meaning that it had to fulfill both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. TSAGI was still a part of the design effort, having tested radio-controlled models for research in stability and handling characteristics, particularly at high angles of attack. It was later confirmed that the 1.42 is still controllable at angles of attack of up to 60 a degree. By now the specifications were being firmed. Engineers from various establishments had settled on a definite design, having refined the flight control software, verified all wind tunnel test results, and checked important systems using test rigs and modified aircraft. In 1988, Mikwain was issued a specific operational requirement for the 1.42. Three years later, 
the design passed the Soviet Air Force's critical review. This paved the way for the construction of a flyable technology demonstrator, and so Mike Wynne issued specifications to specialized factories tasked with such roles. The technology demonstrator, bearing the designation 1.44, would be used to verify the aerodynamic layout and flight control system of the design. Construction of it was halfway when the collapse of the Soviet Union brought a halt to further funding. Inevitably the scheduled first flight of the almost complete aircraft slipped indefinitely. However, full-scale mock-ups and sections of the 1.44 were built in support of static tests, while factories were gearing up for the construction of prototypes. Mike Wynne lobbied the government to declassify the project so it could display the aircraft at various air shows. In June 1995, MIG's Deputy General Designer Anatoly Belozvit announced that the prototype could be displayed at that year a Euro unregistered trademark SMAKS air show. In the end, the government refused. The company tried in 1997, to no avail. Testing interrupted, in early 1994, the incomplete aircraft was transported to Zhukovsky airfield, where it would undertake flight tests. Ground tests began later that year, culminating in the first high-speed runs with Mike Wynne's chief test pilot Roman Taskave at the controls. Just as the test program began to pick up, it was again put on hold as the design bureau did not have enough funds to purchase the remaining components still missing on the demonstrator. This would be the main factor in the indefinite postponement of the program for the next few years. In 1997, the Russian government cancelled the MFI program due to its unacceptably high unit cost. Mike Wynne was financially insecure, resulting with a change in the management during the years leading up to 2000. This opened up other sources of funds. The change in the Campania Euro unregistered trademark S management also brought many changes. In late 1998, the Russian government agreed to reveal the existence of the project. On December 24, 1998, the Net Savizimea Gazeta published a brief article on the fighter, accompanied by several photos. On January 12 the following year, the 1.44 was officially rolled out in the presence of top-ranking Russian military and government personnel, international journalists and other dignitaries. Until then, the status of the 1.44 was largely a secret. The previous day, however, Aviation Week and Space Technology published a photo taken from the roof of the hangar in which the demonstrator was parked. Design Note Since the MiG 1.44 did not conduct an extensive flight test program, not all predicted performance the aspects by engineers were verified. Thus, this section refers to the design as the MiG MFI. The MiG MFI was a delta wing, twin tailed. Fifth generation air superiority strike fighter design that incorporated advanced technology to theoretically give the aircraft excellent stealth and fighting attributes. It was of a tail first layout which, when working in concert with the engines, gave the aircraft remarkable maneuverability. It had a tricycle landing gear system, with a single, dual wheel landing gear in the front, and two single wheels in the rear. The MFI was controlled by a fly-by-wire flight control system, without which the aircraft was almost impossible to fly because of the statically unstable nature of the MFI. Mike Quinn made use of weight-saving materials in the construction of the aircraft, with aluminium-lithium alloys making up 35% of the empty weight, steel and titanium alloys, composites and others. The MiG MFI was unconventional in its layout in an effort to improve in-flight efficiency and stealth characteristics. Efforts were made to minimize surface area, possibly to reduce drag. The wings were of delta plan form, with leading edge sweep at 52 a degree. At the tips were dielectric fairings which housed electronic countermeasures electronic support measures. The wings had full span leading edge. The canards, meanwhile, had a leading edge sweep of 58 a degree and had prominent dog tooth which improve airflow over the wings at high alpha. Russian aviation experts claim that the unorthodox design, use of radar absorbent materials, and internally mounted weapons, gave an RCS comparable to that of the F-22. Two Lilka Saturn AL-41F after burning turbofans produced 177 a kilonewton of thrust, 
giving the MFI a top speed of Mach 2.35. The engines also allowed the jet to supercruise. The axis symmetrical engines could be vectored in both pitch and your planes. The nozzles inner petals were lined with ceramic tiles to reduce heat signatures. The engines, through serpentine ducts covered in ram, were fed by a rectangular intake underneath the front fuselage. Weapons and fuel tanks could be carried under the wings as well. Testing and cancellation During 1999, final preparations were made for first flight. The aircraft was finally completed after missing components were purchased. It underwent ground tests, including high speed taxis during which the aircraft was rotated. On February 29, 2000, the aircraft performed its first flight at the hands of Vladimir Gorbunov. During the 18 minute flight, the 1.44 reached a maximum height of 1,000 am and reached speeds of 600 km per hour. The aircraft touched down at 11.43 am Moscow time, amid tight security. Gorbunov later described the aircraft as docile. After the 22-minute second flight on April 27, engineers probably uncovered some problems, since there were no reported flights thereafter. The program has since apparently been cancelled, with the aircraft's status unknown. Variants, MiG 1.42-42 primary version which may go on to production. The functions are better than that of the 1.44. NATO named it Fox Glove. MiG 1.44 demonstrator prototype with failed upgrades. Will remain a demonstrator. Two have been built. NATO named it Flat Pack. Despite the close similarity to the Xiong J-20, MiG has denied any intentional disclosure of technical information on the 1.44 to China. Specifications. Note. Since the 1.44 and 1.42 never went beyond pre-production, most specifications are estimated. Data from General Characteristics, Crew, 1, Length, 19 meters, Wingspan, 15 m, Height, 4.50 m, Empty Weight, 18,000 kg, Loaded Weight, 28,000 kg, Max Takeoff Weight, 35,000 kg, Power Plant, 2 a, Lyok AL-41F after burning turbofans, 176 kN each, performance, maximum speed, Mach 2.6, range, 4000 km, service ceiling, 21555 m, armament, guns, 1A, 30mm Ismash GSH-301 cannon, 250 rams, missiles, R-77 medium-range radar guided missiles, R. Minus 73 short range IR guided missiles, K 37 long range radar guided missiles, K 74 short range IR guided missiles, payload, likely any AGM or small diameter free fall bomb in the Russian inventory. See also Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, Mikwine LMFS, Shunj J 20, Sukhoi Su 47, Lockheed Martin F 22 Raptor, Sukhoi Pak FA. Related lists, list of fighter aircraft, references, notes, citations, bibliography, Russian 1.44 to fly soon despite money shortage, says MAPO. Flight International 155, 9. 20 Euro January 26, 1999. ISNA 0015-3710. Retrieved August 5, 2011. A RSK MIG 1.44 shown on maiden flight. Flight International 157, 20. 2 a Euro May 8, 2000. ISNA 0015 3710. Retrieved September 9, 2011. A Barry, Douglas. Mike Wine pushes 1.42 for Mozero debut. Flight International 147, 4. ISNA 0015-3710. Retrieved September 5, 2011. A. Barry, Douglas. Last of the Big Makes. Flight International 150, 24 a Euro 26. ISNA 0015-3710. Retrieved August 5, 2011. A. Gordon, Ifim. Sukhoi S-37 and Mike Wine MFI, 
Russian fifth-generation fighter technology demonstrators. While Bird Tech 1. Hinkley, UK, Midland Publishing. ISBN A1-85780-120-2A, Belovich, Alexander. MiG 144 undergoes high-speed runs as MAPO prepares for maiden flight. Flight International 157, 32. ISNA 015-3710. Retrieved August 5, 2011. A, external links. MiG 35-1.42 Multi-Role Frontline Fighter on FAS.org, Mikewine Project 1.44 MiG 1.42 MFI at Fighter-Planes.com, MiG MFI at ROYFC.com, 1, Picture of 1.44 with tarp over the cockpit.